Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Mossley Farm here in Stardew Valley. And you guys, it's the 23rd of winter, and do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? It is my wife's birthday! Okay, let's have some green tea so that I can really zip around and get moving. And then today is the day! Today is the day! Today is Leia's birthday! Let's go say good morning to her! Leia! Leia, good morning! Oh, she made me some fresh coffee. That's so sweet. Good morning, Siri. I made us some fresh coffee. My morning just wouldn't be complete without a hot cup of coffee. Oh, Leia, I cannot wait until I can get some extension mods for all of the dialogue of the villagers. That's going to be so cool. All right, all right. So her morning's not going to be complete without some fresh coffee. And let me put away the pancakes from last night. But I also don't think her morning's going to be complete without her birthday present. And I'm so excited. Let me rush up here, double check. Sure enough, it is her birthday. And we are going to give her a fantastic gift. We are going to give her one of her universal loves. And one of her universal loves is actually poppy seed muffins. And I have never made poppy seed muffins before. Also, let me go ahead. Rowling, good morning. It is one of your mom's birthdays today. Isn't that so exciting, little guy? And I have never made poppy seed muffins before, so this should be kind of fun. And it's really cool that she gave me a coffee because we can use the coffee to zip around too. Or I could just save it for her because the green tea makes you move faster and it's better for you. Bundle up, folks. It's going to snow tomorrow. All right, good to know. No, I'm like moving the TV all of a sudden. Uh, oh, I see a glimmer within my scrying orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits are somewhat annoyed today. Luck will not be on your side. All right, so we are going to try to upgrade my watering can to a awesome iridium watering can today, but it does not look like we are going to be using Clint to open up our geode since the spirits are annoyed today. That's okay. Spirits hopefully won't be too annoyed because it is Leia's birthday and that's so exciting. And we are going to make her a poppy seed muffin, which I only recently learned the recipe for. Remember guys, if you are like me and striving to become the ultimate chef and make one of every single food available in Stardew Valley, you need to be checking the uh, news for that cooking show, the Queen of Sauce show, because there's some recipes you have to see on a certain day of the year. And if you miss the Queen of Sauce recipe that day of the year, you have to wait until the next year, the same day, to be able to get access to the recipe, which is just bedonkers. And it looks like I have two recipes. I only have, dun 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 dun, four missing recipes. And I would bet my bunches that that's four Queen of Sauce episodes I missed through the year. So that's really exciting though, because I could become the ultimate chef if I could make all of that. But let's go ahead and find a poppy really quickly. I should have plenty of poppies hiding somewhere, right? Wait a second, right? I should have poppies. This was my plan. This was my plan all along. Where are my poppies? Oh my gosh. Do I not have any poppies? Do I for real not have any poppies? I was looking at all these dandelions and I really don't have any poppies. But that's what I was going to make Leia. Her birthday. Okay, maybe I have some puppies in here. Okay, this is all forge goods. All right, maybe I need to start cleaning some of this up so I can actually figure out what I've got. So let's grab all of the forged goods. All right, there's some crocuses. Um, here's some wild plums. I think the wild plums we can put away too. Okay, there's a chanterelle. There's a hazelnut. Oh my gosh, you guys. What? No, this was my grand plan. I literally just told Chips that, oh, bye darling. I need to go upstairs and play Stardew Valley so that I can make some puppies for my wife I literally told him that and then I don't have or like some poppy seed muffins I, I don't have any poppy seed muffins oh my goodness oh my goodness this is bad all right let me grab all of the forge items out of here um blackberries too and we'll put them in the forge chest that I have oh and we've got fiddleheads oh no guys I don't see any of the poppies oh my gosh I don't have the ability to make Leia the poppy seed muffins. And I truly thought I did. I feel terrible. Let me put away all of these forge goods because um, I'm trying to sort them a little bit better lately. And that should be really good. Now this is all stuff that you can find in the wild, including coconuts, depending on what season it is. And I'm keeping all of my mushrooms down here. So let me open this up. Oh my gosh. I just feel like a total heel. Here I was. I literally... I thought I could do that. I was so excited. I kept talking on and on and on about making Leia these. I feel terrible. 
<laughs> but that's okay. I'm sure she'll accept like other things. She loves goat cheese after all and and the sacred wood. Let's go get her some fresh sacred wood. <laughs> Maybe that'll make it better, right? Maybe if I go in and, and I get some sacred wood. There doesn't by chance happen to be Poppy in here. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Aw, oh, you guys. All right. Well, I'm a total goose and I'm going to run. I'm going to just like, I could have sworn. I could have sworn. Wait, wait, wait. We have more chests to check. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's root around in this one. You guys, poppies! Oh, thank goodness. I knew I had some poppies somewhere. I am so relieved. Let us take this little thing in and we are going to make some delicious poppy seed muffins. Holy days, saved by my hoarding. Who would have thunk it? I am so relieved right now. And let's check the mail really quickly. Oh, what's this? Hey, I found this in a drawer somewhere. Thought she could use it. What is that? What is this? I've never seen this before. Energy tonic? That is so cool. Thank you, Pam. I don't think I've ever seen that energy tonic before. And what's this? <gasps> you guys, look! Dear Siri, I ordered some tea sprouts, but they sent me too many, so I figured I'd share my birthday present with the town farmer. <laughs> Enjoy. It's from my wife. Oh, you guys, she sent me tea leaves because she knows I like green tea more than coffee. Oh, that's adorable. Well, that's not actually why she sent them. She actually sent them because, like, I guess she was coded too, but you guys know what I mean. That's a really cute coincidence. All right, well, let's run inside. We are going to make these poppy seed muffins. I am so excited. Boom. Dun, 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 dun. And we have tons of tea. So many tea. I've never had this energy tonic either. That's really cool, Pam. I think she wants me to buy bus tickets to go to Skull Caverns. <laughs> That's the only guess I have for, for that. Uh, do I have somewhere to put the tea leaves? I'll just put them right in here. And you guys, it's time. It's time. I'm so excited. I'm going to give her... I'm Okay, let me put this way. Wait, no. I put the... Pop, get back in here. All right, there we go. And... All right, let's wait for her to, okay, maybe if I come this way. All right, happy birthday, Leia. Dun, dun, dun. A birthday gift, that's very kind of you. I love it, yay. Okay, hopefully she'll really enjoy that. There we go. Uh, Leia, do you wanna, are we like hiding behind the mistletoe or something? Is that what's going on here? Hey, 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 Leia, Leia, please, Leia, maybe, Leia, okay, happy birthday, Leia. Well, I'm really glad she enjoyed her poppy seed muffin. That was fun. That just was something I had as a little personal goal that I really wanted to pull off. And sure enough, we have made a poppy seed muffin. Fantastic. All right. So let's go ahead and make some more breakfast for the family. In fact, let me go ahead and make another poppy seed muffin. Just because I want to say the whole family gets to enjoy poppy seed muffins for Leia's birthday. And then I'll put it on the table. There we go. Poppy seed muffin. Oh, Leia's coming back down. Leia, 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 happy birthday to you. Are you gonna hold still? Here, hold still. Okay, there you go. Happy birthday, right? Poppy seed muffin day. All right, that makes me happy. I think she got the idea. All right, well, let's go ahead and get a move on ourselves. I'm very happy with that turn of events. Noodle Doodles is hanging out over here. There you go, buddy. Hey, buddy, do you not want a pet? He's a melted kitty cat. He seems to enjoy the snow. I do know some cats like that, actually, who really actually enjoy the snow. I always used to think like, oh, poor kitties. <laughs> how, how could they be out in the cold snow? That's so sad. But I do know some cats who really like the snow. Like they really, really seem to love the cold and they seem to love playing in the snow. Not that I'm for outdoor cats anymore, actually. I have very strong opinions now about that. Delilah, all right, Delilah is ready to go and be sold, actually. So today we will sell our first chicken. We're gonna go down and we're going to speak to Marnie. The reason we're selling the chicken is because I need more space in my chicken coop in order to start inviting in, and I'll give that void egg to Probus just in case he enjoys it, in order to try to have the chance to get blue chickens. So we will go sell it in just a second. No fruit from the fruit bats, that's fine. And the iridium bars! All right, guys, let's grab the two iridium bars we had in the chest. Now we are up to five iridium bars, and we are going to take our watering can on Leia's birthday, and we are going to upgrade it to an iridium watering can and I'm carrying the spring onions of friendship in my pockets because I forgot to put them away oh that's so funny all right but let's check to make sure the greenhouse hmm this is interesting I need to water everything in the greenhouse before we turn our watering can in 
But this is interesting, guys, because I thought the iridium watering, uh, the iridium sprinkler would go a lot further, but apparently it only goes to about here. So it only goes two away from it in a circle. Okay, so that's not nearly as good as I thought it was, to be completely honest. So I guess I'm going to have to go ahead and just destroy whatever this poor seed is and put this here. All right. Well, that's a pity because I really was hoping it would like, you know, take up half of the entire room, but apparently that is not the case. And I think something, it's growing wheat. That's so cool. I love the mixed seeds because you never really know what you're going to get from it. And when you plant mixed seeds, it looks like I missed a spot for ancient fruit seeds up there. But when you plant mixed seeds into um, the greenhouse, then it's completely random what you get. And I think that's pretty cool. All right. And am I completely out of speed grow? I am indeed out of speed grow. So I guess I'll just use some basic fertilizer for the one spot where I missed planting an ancient fruit seed. All right. We'll come up here. And then that should take care of this place. I mean, I guess I could go ahead and plant some random things. Um, let me move this sprinkler. I'll plant some random things next to these sprinklers just because why waste it? You know what I mean? All right, I'm going to plant this here. There we go. Well, I guess you don't plant a sprinkler, but you guys know what I mean. And then we will use our watering can for the last time for quite a while. I think we'll, we'll only be able to get our watering can back after the festival of uh, the Giving Star, which is coming up pretty soon. And we need to have Caroline's gift ready. I'm trying to remember what I was going to make for Caroline. It was another food related item, like her favorite hard to make food was what I was going to make for the Feast of the Giving Star. And I don't remember exactly what it was. Let's make melon seeds, I guess. Um, do I have any more mixed seeds? We have parsnip seeds. I need to move. Whoops. Well, I planted a melon seed. <laughs> Sorry, little buddy. You aren't going to make it because I put you in the wrong spot. Uh, let's go inside and see where our mixed seeds are because I should have a bunch of mixed seeds hiding somewhere. All right, dun 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 dun. Oh, we need to go see Clint. <laughs> Forget these seeds. I need to go see Clint. It's already super late. All right, let's. No, don't sell the iridium bars for crying out loud, Siri. Oh my gosh, I would be so sad. All right, there we go. Do I need anything else? I think I have everything. And that's really sweet that Leia gave me some tea leaves. Oh, and there's some pine tar. Let's grab this really fast. Gotcha. Hey, Pam. Thank you so much for the gift of the energy tonic. I just hope Penny has a good life ahead of her. If you ever have kids, you'll know how I feel. Yeah, my skin's so dry in the winter. Oh my gosh. <laughs> she talks about the weirdest things sometimes. All right, let's jump up here into town. Dun, 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 dun. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my iridium watering can. Look at that. This is going to be fantastic. Hopefully it will cover a huge area when we use it in the spring. It's going to be awesome. Let's do this. Thanks. I'll get started on this as soon as I can. It should be ready in a couple days. Yay, Clint. Thank you. All right. And he's he's like, you just got to give me the correct word. Well, buddy, we've got that old buddy, old pal. All right. And now that that's done... I wonder what I should work on uh, for the rest of my day. Oh, yeah, we're going to sell. Let's go back. And we are actually going to, let's see, go to the bus stop. We're going to sell one of our chickens so that I will have more room to be able to add chickens to the farm uh, in hopes of getting a blue chicken. And I might as well go cut down some wild trees, some of the trees growing off of my farm, since I have pretty much ripped apart my... Oh, you guys, our deer barn is done. Huzzah, check this out. This is going to be where we are going to have our deer move in so that they can wander the forest, a whole bunch of deer and maybe a few sheep uh, in the spring. That's going to be super awesome. And spring is actually coming up really quick. That's very exciting. All right, let's ride down here and go visit Marnie. And maybe we'll do some fishing. I think we have a quest. Yeah, we have a quest to get four squids and go see Willie. So maybe... Of course, she wouldn't be here today. That's fine. Of course, the day I actually wanted to get some of that stuff died. <laughs> Nobody would actually be there. That's just the way life goes sometimes. I understand, Marnie. I understand. We can't make it too easy. That would be a travesty. All right, let's grab some of this wood. I'm very glad to have all the wood I need back or my axe back so I can get all the wood I need. We've just had so many projects that have needed uh, a whole bunch of chests and I actually need to get a ton of wood so we can build another rabbit hutch now that I think about it. 
Yeah, we should be able to get a lot of wood really quickly, but I need wood for the rabbit hutch for spring. I also need more chest so that we can get our museum built because that's going to be quite a bit of work to make sure everything is sorted exactly where it needs to go. But you know, speaking of the museum, that's making me think about artifacts and that is indeed making me think about fishing. So I think I'm actually going to grab some dish of the seas so we increase our fishing skill. And I'm going to go grab some of the um, the treasure lures. We'll get a couple gold bars up and going so I can get treasure lures. And we might go fishing for some squid and just see if we can go take a bunch of squid to Willy. I might actually like get some squid out of my fishing, my little fishing chest that we have in the basement just to make sure. There we go. Let's grab this. And wonderful. Wow, this is actually so easy when we have this much energy and we've got a gold ax. This was like a breeze. How much? I almost have, I have, have almost 500 wood. Just like that. I can't believe that. I wasn't going to do this much like wood chopping and cutting down of trees, poor things. But this was so easy. Oh my gosh. Who knew? Who knew? Let's keep going. There we go. How many do I have now? Oh my gosh. I have almost 500 wood just like that. That's amazing. All right. Let's just get 500 just because we can. I had no idea it would be that easy. Thank you, Axe. That's fantastic. All right. Well, and it's also probably because we have a ridiculous amount of energy now. <laughs> After all the star drops we've collected. All right. We'll grab those. And then we'll grab this. And I guess I should also look into what legendary fish we still need to catch. Because that is definitely another project we need to work on. <gasps> Noodle doodles! What do, what do you have? What do you have? Rocks. Pa. That's not nearly as interesting as I was hoping, but that's okay. All right, Rose Stone, where are you, my dear? I know you're over here somewhere. There she is. All right, it might be a little bit late for actually going fishing, but I kind of still want to try it just in case. Really happy that we have like almost 600 wood. Oh my gosh. Wow. Really, really, really worth it to upgrade your axe for sure. Really worth it to let your forest grow unchecked for a long time for sure too. Uh, cause that gave us plenty of wood to collect. All right, let's pop up here. Gonna sell some of these things. Dun, 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 dun. And then we can pop down here and put away some of those resources. Didn't visit Krobus today, but I think that's okay. I mean, maybe I could go say hello to him really quickly while we zip by. All right, what's in here? Uh, dish of the sea, dish of the sea. Do I have any dish of the sea? Yeah, I do. Maybe I want to save the dish of the sea. What does it take to make dish of the sea? Do I, do I have that recipe so that we can get more fishing? I think I could just buy some of the like fishing boost stuff from him. Uh, oh wait, fish stew, which is crayfish and mussel. I think an escargot. I think I have garlic and I think I have snails. Not that I'm really over eager to have escargot myself, but oh geez, I've really cleared out my little inventories. Okay, maybe I don't have garlic and snails anymore. We'll work on that. All right, let's see. And I need treasure lures next. Where's Leia? Wow. It is kind of late for fishing, but I, I sort of want to try just to see what we can get. All right. I don't think though... Ah, thwarted. I don't have any gold for the treasure lures. Phooey! All right. Well, I guess we can take care of things on the farm. What needs done? Well, oh, I haven't taken care of my barn animals in quite a while. Let's go make sure. Eh, eh, eh. There we go. I haven't taken care of my barn animals in quite a while, and I hope they're okay. Yeah, everybody's okay. No, don't eat. No! I ate the goat cheese. My money. Why? Pipswissia is trying to sleep. I'm sorry, Pipswissia. Can I just... Okay, Primrose is trying to sleep. Everybody's trying to sleep. Oh, man. Maybe I won't get a chance to actually go fishing today. It'd be really fun if I could, though. Bluebell's trying to sleep. I'm sorry, guys. I've got to give you all a little milk in really quickly. You're probably immensely uncomfortable. I love how Rose, the goat that we had born on our farm, is already, already grown up. There we go. We'll grab some more from you. And whoops, all right, Violet has no milk right now. That's just fine. All right, let's get these going and these going and these. There we go. Wonderful. I'm actually going to need more milk machines now that I look at it. And darn it, I don't think we have enough time to go fishing, at least not at the ocean. So, aw, oh man, and my fishing lures won't be done for a little while anyway. Phooey. Well, that's okay. That gives us a little bit of time to tidy things up in the house, I suppose. All right, we'll sell these. 
Might as well grab those. We have a little bit more bait. And then I guess I can go ahead and uh, continue to clean things up in my house. Because we almost finally have gotten it, you guys. <laughs> so that I don't just have a freaking ton of random chests all over my kitchen. We have almost managed to clear this entire chest out. Huzzah! How amazing is that? Let's see if we can do it. Let's see if we can do it I can, and I can move it. Oh my goodness. It's empty. It's finally empty. Dun, 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 dun. It's a miracle. <laughs> that has been so long in coming. And all I can think now is maybe we should sort it by like fruit and vegetables. Or maybe we should sort it by what season something's grown in. Maybe fruits and vegetables. Well, the thing is there's so many. Uh, I can't decide. Maybe fruits, vegetables, and farm produce. Uh, let's just start by throwing. Well, I know where that goes. Start by throwing all of these things in here really quickly. And then any of the forge items, the mushrooms can come out. Let's see, the white algae can come out. I can't remember where white algae is. Like, I think it's only a monster drop thing, but we can put it with the forge items too. Uh, the rest of everything, crystal fruit is a forge item. All right, we'll take that with us. Anything in here? No. Anything in here? This, this, this. Oh, there's the snail. I should make some garlic. I should get some garlic going in my greenhouse. Fiddlehead fern, spice berry also is something you can find just out in the wild. And we can put all those away at least. Do I have enough squid? I have enough squid that we could just complete that event with Willy. We could try that. We could try riding in town now. And so all of these are forage items. So these are items that you can find out in the wild. Uh, and there's not enough room for all of them. So we might move like all flowers, including daffodils, to a different category. Daffodils and crocus. But we'll see for now. This is just really helpful to get things started. And then I have the fish and I have extra areas to store more things. Hmm, for all of our little cooking events. And then mushrooms that go down here. There we go. So, hmm, gonna have to figure out how to organize my house now that I actually have room to move things. <laughs> this is kind of amazing. I can finally move the like family table and like this light if I need to. That's kind of amazing. This wooden lamppost, I could put it down here. Oh my gosh, that actually really helps to spread the light a little bit more evenly. And then, I mean, I could even add chairs if I wanted to. What? That's amazing. We haven't been able to, like, have things look this nice and tidy for ages. I could even move this. I could even move this. What? That's amazing. All right, let's do this. And then what if I actually put the chest down at the bottom? Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> look how tidy and organized things are starting to look. It's It doesn't look like my kitchen, to be honest. And then we could start putting... Let's see, like farm produce items could possibly be in a gray chest. So it could be like wild honey and uh, like the eggs and things like that could be in here. And then I guess in here could be, hmm, maybe like fishing items and fruit? Not sure. Not sure, question mark in my voice. Unsure about this, this path I'm taking because I'm not used to actually having... I am not used to actually having a room in my kitchen. Normally my chests are overflowing and I can't figure out what to do with them. Let's go with vegetables in this chest and let's go with uh, yummy yummy fruits in this chest. So veggies and fruits. And then I guess this will be kind of like the miscellaneous chest with things like snails uh, and the eggs would go in the other chest. Wow, we actually did it. We actually sorted things out. Uh, and fruit, I think I'm going to have to make maybe like a pink you. Yeah, vegetables and let's go for this one. Does that make me think fruit? Unfortunately, like I think the, let's go with the deep red. Yeah, we'll go with the deep red because that's what makes me think fruit. So we'll put cherries in there. There we go. Apples in here. Apricots. <gasps> it's organized. Oh my gosh. I can't believe this is actually happening. This is surreal. Wait, cherries, go back in there. This is really surreal, guys. I, 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 is this me? Is, am I me? To actually have something organized and put away. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. I think the oil should maybe go in a different chest. Uh, and okay, tomatoes count as a vegetable in the game. I know they're actually a fruit. Just putting that out there. But we're going to leave them in here because they're a vegetable in the game. Uh, we'll grab those fruits, these fruits, these fruits. Uh, pumpkin counts as a vegetable. Uh, let's see, fruit, 
Anything that says vegetable will go in this chest, basically. Animal products will go in another chest. And let's see, hot peppers count as fruits. You know what? They're going to count as vegetables in my book, okay? Same with radish. We're, or rutabar, rutabar, rutabar. Ugh, we're not going to, we're not going to have these kinds of pandemic arguments. Let's see. All right. No, get back in there, hot peppers. I see what you're trying to do. All right. I'm going to put the poppy seed back where it belongs. No, don't eat it. You don't even need it, little Siri. Put it down. There we go. All right. And then animal products. There we go. There we go. More animal products. And then the oddity of like having truffle oil and, and fish and things like that can go in here with the majority of the fish going into the basement. And then more fruit. Nice, you guys. We organized my kitchen. What the heck? It's actually nice and tidy. I can't believe this. This never happens. I never have my chest actually organized and put away and easy to discover where I've hidden things. Is this still my house? Uh, let's see, should I put in new wall or floor? Oh, look at the little rowing all tucked up, wrapped up, ready to go to bed. Uh, I actually kind of like my kitchen the way it is, but maybe I should put a different floor down to be a little bit lighter. So let's go to flooring and maybe we could swap it out with something that's a little bit easier to see. Um, let's see. Maybe. I kind of like the flooring the way it is, but I sort of feel like changing it up since we like cleaned it so well and now you can actually see what's in there. So we have this brown flooring in there now. Maybe this one? I don't know. Or maybe like I, it's all so dark in this house. I kind of want to go with something a little bit lighter, you know, to kind of brighten it up a little bit. So we'll take a few different floorings down, just to try them out. And as an emergency, I'll bring the normal floor. So what if I went with more wood? <laughs> too much wood. Way too much wood. What if I went with this one? This one I actually like a lot. We'll change the floor to this one for a little while. There we go. All right, wonderful. Well, um, gosh, I guess I cleaned my house and like I have the finished food up here now and uh, like here's fairy rose, honey. I could just go ahead and move that to the artisan goods. Holy moly. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I actually have a clean kitchen. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know what to do with it. Uh, anything I can take from in here? Like, there's a gold ore. Just a random gold ore. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Here's some forge items. Flowers. A melon. A vegetable. Uh, more flour. I guess crocus counts as flour. So I should probably put flowers in another chest. So, yeah. I didn't actually expect to clean my kitchen. That never, ever, ever happens. Um, we have hops. Let's see. Hay. More white algae, oak resin, pine tar. Uh, my goodness. So I'm not going to sort much more of this because you guys have sat through enough of it. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but my goodness, we did it. I, I guess I'm still just in shock, to be honest. Uh, let's see. Can I put anything away? I have some corn. I have some parsnips. I have a potato. I should grow more potatoes in my, in my greenhouse once I get my little watering can back. There's a vegetable there. There's a vegetable there. I am hunting all these vegetables down. My gosh. I'm really, there's some hops. I'm really, really happy. We did it. We've cleaned up my kitchen. I feel really embarrassed. That's like one of those things that is actually super easy to do. And you know, when there's something like that in your life and you just put it off forever and ever and ever, and then you actually take the time to do it. And it was so easy that you're a little shy. You're like, oh, that was, that was, that was really simple. Yeah, that's how I feel right now. All right, let's put all these guys away. Hopefully everybody will have enough room. Oh, and we have finally bumped into the fact we need a second forge item chest. I kind of thought that would happen, and that's okay. We have a lot more room upstairs than I thought we would. Okay, need to change it to that shade of green. And there we go. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put this little mushroom away. Sorry to drag out, like, just sorting my house. But there's something kind of refreshing about it. Because look at this. You step upstairs and now it's organized and I know which chest to find all of the extra stuff in. And I guess the next journey would be uh, starting to clear some of these out and making a proper little, uh, little, oh, what am I going to call it? Like the little closet area inside of my room. I guess that would be the next goal. Wow. Wow. This is really cool. We're actually getting some stuff done. I'm very proud of us. All right, go us. Go team us. Let's go ahead and go to bed and see if anything special happens in the middle of the night. Or if I've made a wee bit of money. 
I've made a wee bit of money, so hopefully we'll be able to make more money, and we'll get ready next time for the Festival of the Winter Star. I need to look up what Caroline's rarest of rare food that she enjoys is, and we'll be sure to prepare that for the Festival of the Winter Star. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!